Welcome to India Today So South, I'm Sara Fazal. The ongoing NEET UG exam controversy under the Modi government has earned the BJP rule states the tag of becoming the epicenter of paper leaks. Now gaining political mileage over the issue is the India Alliance, who has alleged that the net NEET row is only one among the many examples of how the last 10 years of the Modi government has been about widespread paper leaks and malpractice in competitive exams nationwide. Congress General Secretary Jairam Ramesh took to Platform X earlier this today and highlighted competitive exam malpractice under the Modi government. He cited, Ahmedabad-based exam firm EduTest Solutions Private Limited accused in multiple paper leaks, yet favoured by Modi and BJP state governments across the country. He also alleged that even though UP and Bihar governments have blacklisted the firm as of October 2023, the Modi government continued giving them contracts to the tune of 80 crore rupees. Now, the question on our today's SOSAD bulletin is, what is EduTest Solutions Private Limited? What is its link to the Modi government? And given the allegations of paper leaks against it by the Congress, why does the firm continue to be favoured by the BJP or does it or is it being favoured by the BJP? What is EduTest Solutions Private Limited? It is an Ahmedabad-based exam conducting company and is being subjected to multiple allegations of paper leaks and recruitment scams in several states across the country. Many state governments have already blacklisted this company. Despite this, BJP governments of many states continue to grant contracts to this company for conducting exams. EduTest Solutions Private Limited's founder director Suresh Chandra Arya leads the Hindu organization Sarvadeshak Arya Pratinidhi Sabha, which is attended by top BJP leaders, including Prime Minister Modi. Now, despite its MD, Vineet Arya, who is the son of Suresh Chandra, being jailed in 2017, the firm allegedly continues to receive support due to its ideological and political ties to the BJP. Let me tell you that the Edutus Solutions Private Limited, accused of competitive exam scams, among the multiple, these following are the ones that have grabbed the most attention. The infamous UP recruitment scam. On June 20th this year, the UP government blacklisted EduTest Solutions after a leaked exam paper for 63,244 constable posts. Over 43 lakh candidates protested in Lucknow, forcing the Adityanath government to cancel the exam. The special task force investigating the case has issued several notices to MD Vineet Arya, who reportedly fled to the US. The SDF is now examining the company's bank accounts and call details revealed the leak originated from EduTest's Ahmedabad warehouse. A 900-page chart sheet was filed on June 6th with 18 arrests made so far. The UP recruitment scam was not the first time that this Gujarat-based firm ran into controversy. It was earlier blacklisted due to paper leaks and severe irregularities. Yet, it keeps getting contracts for printing exam papers and conducting the same. The blacklisting done by the Bihar this year. Now, last year, on October 20, 2023, Bihar School Examination Board blacklisted EduTest Solutions for three years due to deeply negligent attitude and unprofessional conduct. The board cited multiple instances of negligence, including incorrectly declaring 5,657 candidates as passed in the secondary teacher eligibility test, despite them scoring below the minimum marks. Now, given the series of allegations involving competitive exams against the Modi government, the recent being the neat UG Rao turning uglier by the day, when the leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi attempted to raise the neat issue in parliament today, his mic was muted. Let's uh, watch that visual before us and see what he tried to say. Rahul Gandhi was trying to raise this neat issue in Parliament to the Speaker Om Birla. But this is what happened when he tried to speak. That's his bite. Nay, Mane, please. Sir, Michael Reddy. Hindustan ke jo students hain, unko hum. Joint message देना चाहते थे। हाँ दे आप सुनिए सुनिए। Joint message देना चाहते थे opposition और सरकार के side से 
कि इस मुद्दे को हम जरूरी मानते हैं और इसीलिए हमने सोचा था कि आज स्टूडेंट्स की रिस्पेक्ट करने के लिए हम नीट पर डिस्कशन करें ठीक है आप डेडिकेटेड डिस्कशन अब Now, this company, Edutech, changed its name after its track record was marred. Edutest Te Solutions Private Limited, formerly known as Confisec Private Limited, claims to have conducted 113 crore faultless examinations since 1981, as per its website. Now, the company changed its name after being impl implicated in paper leak cases. In 2017, the Bihar Staff Selection Commission exam paper was leaked, leading to the arrest of BSSC Chairman Sudhir Kumar and Confisec Director Vineet Arya. Arya was released on bail and later claimed mental illness and suicidal thoughts to extend his bail period. Mind you, he remains out on bail. Despite massive irregularities, Edutest Solutions Private Limited remains favoured by the Modi government due to its religious and political connections of its owners. Founder Director Suresh Chandra Arya, President of the Sarvadeshak Arya Pratinidhi Sabha, since 2016 has strong ties with the BJP leaders. Prominent BJP figures, including Prime Minister Modi, have attended events organised by the Sabha. In February 2023, Modi even inaugurated the Dayanan Saraswati's 200th birth anniversary with Arya. Edutest's website describes Suresh Chandra as the company's backbone. He also inaugurated a CSR program in Gujarat, attended by notable figures including Anar Patel, daughter of former Gujarat CM Anandi Ben Patel. The question that we stand to pose today is, do these Congress allegations of paper leaks being rampant under the Modi government stand to be true? Or did the Modi government in today's parliament session in the Lok Sabha try to avoid a debate on the neat UG Rao? Please let us know in the comments below what you think and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the bell icon. I'm Sarah Fazil for India Today's So South.